Hello everyone, it's Charlsey and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make a lentil chickpea dish that you can eat either warm or chilled and it's actually one that's super um, to prepare in advance and then you can have it daily for lunch. It's packed with protein, very healthy and easy to make. So our first step is we're going to start with chickpeas. Now you can either cook them yourself. I'll um, link a recipe below um, how to make them in your Instapot. So easy. And that's what I did. I had a pound of dry chickpea and just cooked them in the Instapot. Once they're cooked, <laughs> then you're going to want to um, put them in a bowl like this and then season them. So you'll drizzle them with olive oil, which I've already done because I actually let these marinate overnight. You don't have to do that at all, but I wasn't ready to film the video, so I said, why not? Let's just marinate. So drizzle them with some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons until you see there's a little shine and then add your seasonings. I used smoked paprika, cumin, um, a little bit of um, black garlic, and I'm going to add some Himalaya pink salt because I tasted one and I could just tell they need a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle that over. And I brought the olive oil out just in case there wasn't enough moisture. So you see I have the tray prepared with parchment paper and I'm going to put um, these on there. And then you're going to pop that in your oven at 375 for about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna just put them on the tray. And again, if they look dried out at all, add some olive oil. It's kind of like when you're roasting vegetables, um, same thing. You want them to have, whoa, some moisture. Let me move this over here so I can work a little bit. Sipping on a little green tea from my throat. So you want these to be in a single layer if possible. And that's looking great. They smell great. <clears throat> and now I'm going to pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. Then we'll assemble the dish. Okay, it is time to assemble our lentil chickpea dish. And so I've got to grab the chickpeas. They're fresh out of the oven. And let's just try to move these over and they're going to go right in to this bowl so let me just see if I can carefully without losing too many get them right into the bowl they look great smell delicious these guys can go in all right and we'll just Get this out of the way. Now, <clears throat> you'll need a few more ingredients, warm ingredients. So I've got um, one cup of brown rice that I cooked earlier. So you wanna add that. And if you wanna skip the rice, you can. Um, I've got a cup of lentils and I'm gonna start with half of that. So these are just brown lentils. Use whatever you have on hand. Got red, yellow. I've got um, about a third of a red onion. And that's my personal preference. Um, I don't like, I love red onions, don't get me wrong, but they can overpower a dish. And then I have half of a cucumber diced. And so I'm going to mix that up, add a little bit of dried parsley. You can also add tomatoes to this if you have them on hand. 
I did not, but that's okay. Another um, great addition would be broccoli. If you've got some raw, fresh broccoli. This is um, a really crunchy, flavorful dish. And again, it is so good, either warm, like it is now, or cold. So I've mixed that up. I'm gonna set it aside, because now we're going to make the dressing. So let me move these things out of the way. I'm still undecided if I'm gonna add those uh, lentils or not. So I love recipes that are <coughs> easy measurements. And I don't know where, oh, here they are. So you need two, two, and two. Two tablespoons of olive oil. And use a good one that has a good flavor because this is a dressing. So you want it to taste good. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And what I do with lemon juice is I just buy a huge bag of lemons when we go to Costco. And I usually juice about half of them and just keep these bottles in the fridge. Because we use lemon juice a lot. And the last thing that I'm going to add is tahini. So I'm going to shake it up. I like this one because it's squeezable. I also have the one that's more like a, looks like a nut butter. It's kind of hard and it works, but this one is a little bit easier to use if you've opened it. That helps, doesn't it? <laughs> this is real life, folks. Okay. There we go. So it flows out nice and easy. So that's one tablespoon. Two. If you have a sesame seed allergy, do not put this in your dressing because that's what they are. They're sesame seeds. That's what tahini is, if you didn't know. Now, the last thing we're going to add is this seasoning called a za'atar, and it is fabulous. Um, I'll just pop the lid, the plastic shaker off because I want to measure. And I'm going to put um, two teaspoons in here because we like flavor here. And this is just a really, um, I don't know, Oh, I almost want to call it rustic. It's just so flavorful. So, um, it's a wonderful smell. So, whip all that together to make your dressing. Pour it over the salad. Sorry, you're seeing the back of the bowl. And now, and I'm calling it a salad because it's got cucumbers in it. It's just automatically, it really just is a dish. But if you're a big fan of chickpeas and lentils, you are gonna absolutely love this. I could eat this every day. And the good news is it's really good for you. And again, if you're getting away from grains, you can just skip the brown rice. Otherwise, um, it is fabulous. So there you go. That's your dish. Um, it is just a super lunch. You can prep it. It stays fresh in the fridge for days. So I'll eat on this for the next uh, five days probably for lunch. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this kind of recipe. Um, it's a step towards a more healthy lifestyle and um, this one is fabulous. So I will be sharing some great recipes with you um, like this. So I'll see you next time. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment below and please subscribe to the channel.